Hey there guys, TennisBubble13 here, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Master Quest. And in this episode, we are now back as Young Link, and we have this suspicious looking guy over here. We're in uh, Zora's River, and as many of you know, this guy right here, if you talk to him. Blah, 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 blah. How about some bunch of beans? They aren't really selling. How about 10 rupees? Will you, will you buy one, please? And we got some magic beans, which are going to be used to grow into little bean sprouts or something like that. And that's for use for those little dirt patches right there. So we're going to be planting some of those stuff. And uh, as, many of you, as many of you know, um, if you plant these and turn into adult link, then as time passes, you know, then these things will grow. But we're going to probably do that in the next episode um, when we do all the collectibles and stuff. But... This episode is going to kindly focus more on the magic beans, and then there's this other side quest thing that we can do to get a hard piece and some other things in this area, so to speak. But for now, we're just going to keep buying uh, some more magic beans, and as you know, the prices are going up each time we're buying. We're like completely buying his whole inventory, even though he's still eating a bunch of them. Like, that's strange. Like, you have so many beans, and yet you're eating them. How could you possibly, like, say, you know, I'm running out of stock on beans, but whatever. So now we got super popular magic beans. Oh, God. They're so fabulous. <laughs> so we got more magic beans. I think we're at, what, six? Let's see. Keep talking to you. Super rare magic beans. It's funny because he, like, says, like, something different. Wow, it's like such super ultra rare. I can't believe it. It's the same stuff over and over. <laughs> oh, now we got legendary beans. Now, super legendary. Okay, so we got 80 rupees to pay up. God, man, they're just ripping us off. <laughs> and what does you have to say? You want magic beans? They aren't cheap. Well, of course, you keep raising them by 10 rupees. That's very unfortunate. I'm just a kid, for God's sakes. I got no money. Alright, so uh, we have nine of them so far, but the last one costs like a hundred rupees, so we're going to have to do some of that stuff later on. Um, I caught these bugs, because um, I think the next episode I'm going to do... Um, again, this goes back to the collectibles video, I think, in the next episode. But the, basically, the sculptulas are used from the bugs if you plant those in the soil beans. That's pretty cool. We're going to be doing that stuff along with the sculptural collections and heart pieces as well. Because um, if you plant those in certain areas, you'll get like heart pieces and sculptulas and that sort of thing. But for right now, we're going to go over here. That's a little bit in the middle of Zora's River. And there's this log right here, which Nabby will say, Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. And if we take out our trusty ocarina, these frogs will pop up. And now, these guys are kind of interesting, because if you play a certain song, if you, well, let's just play Zelda's Lullaby, for instance. And these frogs will jump to every note that we play. Yeah, there's, there's, that's just, see, that's just unnatural. You know, nature is one with them. <laughs> Y'all lad. Oh, dear God, I skipped a lot of things. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> And we get 50 rupees from playing these songs. And that's the quickest way to get back your money, so to speak. So let's play another song. Yeah, we're playing a pony song, the horsey song. <laughs> and these lovely frogs are frolicking and happy once more. Also, too, they're kind of getting big. And that's our goal. We're going to have to play all the songs uh, that we learned. Minus the warp songs, obviously. And oh my god, he's giving us some more rupees. Yay! There we go. 50 rupees. Like I said, very, very easy way of gaining more money that way. If you haven't done this side quest already, I kind of save that towards when I buy the magic beans. So that's a little bit helpful. I don't know if most people know about that, but that's kind of what I learned. <laughs> oh, I can't talk to you from the other side. Oh man, that's not cool. You gotta make me walk all the way across here. Oh well, at least I'm getting some more rupees along the way. <laughs> Okie dokie, man. So, let's go ahead and get that last magic bean. As much as I want to play that chicken right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's go talk to you again. 
What do you have to say? We have magic beans, you want them? Hmm? 100 rupees? Kia! Oh well. There we go, so we have all of them. And you pretty much say, oh, too bad, we're sold out. Nom 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 nom. These beans are not for sale. Yeah, right. You're eating those beans, man. You gotta say some for the children. Okay, so... Let's go ahead. I don't think we can do anything with the bugs in this one. Because I tried, I think. But let's try this again. Just to be safe. Normally when you do that, there would be like a little noise that makes... So that way, you know that there's going to be a Skulchula popping up. And uh, that sort of thing. I'm going to just do this and get all the bugs. I know I can just like leave one bottle and just catch like many of these bugs because as you may know there's like a certain glitch to do in that. So let's go ahead and pop this baby inside. <laughs> I love that little noise it makes sense. Just, man I just wish that would be like the quickest way to plant things. Because normally when you do plant stuff like it takes forever to plant something and it grows and all that stuff. Oh well. So, that's pretty much that spot, and we'll go around Hyrule Field and plant all these seeds, like I said. But for now, let's go back and uh, play some more with the froggies, because we're so good at that. Yes, we are. Okie dokie then. What's another song we haven't played for them? How about, uh, let's see... I'm trying to think of something here. Oh, Song of Storms. Now, if you play Song of Storms, they don't give you 50 rupees, but this is the song that gives, or they give you a heart piece. Wow, that melody is so cool, Ribbit. Singing in the rain. Oh, what a feeling, Ribbit. <laughs> Please take this as a token of our froggish gratitude, Ribbit. All right, see you, Ribbit. And we get a piece of heart! And let's go back to playing some more songs for the froggies. We got a few more to bust out. Oh goody, some Zarya song. We haven't played this song forever. And then like that, Navi doesn't say, Hey, you wanna talk to Zarya? <laughs> That's great. Okie dokie, so give me more of them 50 rupees. Yeah, I'm so rich. Get at me, bro. <laughs> Okay, next up is Song of Time, I guess. How about that? You're getting bigger and stronger from the Song of Time. <laughs> I guess that would make sense too. It's like puberty. They're they're hitting puberty. <laughs> Frogs hitting puberty. That sounds so gross and yet so fascinating. Okie dokie. So, the last song we shall play is the good old Song of Songs. Yay, let's make the daytime go back to nighttime. Because that's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> and look at that! All the froggies are bigger! That's kind of gross. But, now that all the frogs are big, we could do something else. There we go. Look at us, we're all huge frogs! We are the world famous fabulous five froggish tenors, Rippet. Make us jump so we can eat the bugs flying above us, Rippet. Okay, ready, set, go! Oh god, I messed that up. <laughs> I'm not good at this one. You basically play the notes that the butterflies hover above, and I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh, so close. The last one, you gotta be fast. Ah, I almost had it. There we go. That helps. Young boy, you did great! Perfect! You are stuffed, Ribbit. Would you take this token in our friendship? Yay! I get another piece of heart. That's fascinating. That's so fascinating, I deserve lots of love. <laughs> so, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. <clears throat> like I said, the next episode is probably going to be focusing on gathering everything, including heart pieces. 
uh, Sculptulas. And then there's one more side quest that I kind of want to take care of. And that would be the end of all the side quest stuff so we can finally finish the rest of this game. But for now, I will just leave it off at that. Maybe cut some grasses and so forth. But there's also another thing that I kind of want to show off that I haven't really done so. There's a little secret hole that you can play the Song of Storms and that will open up this hole. Oops. If you have the Stone of Agony rumbling, that is. That's one way to find out. And then this hole. I think there's some more of these business scrubs. Yeah, these two right here. I think they'll sell us potions. This guy, I think, sells you a green potion. Yep. But we don't need that because we're full of... We have bugs in our inventory. That's no good. And this guy will sell us a red potion, but... Yikes. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. There we go. So that's basically it for this area. We never ever have to worry about spot ever, ever again. So, until then... What else can I say? I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Uh, the beans is going to be, like I said, we're going to go back to an adult and that thing will grow. And I think that's about it. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!